I'm feeling like I want to bring her back, I'm bring her back. Because <laughs> a long time I don't have her, you know? You don't take me for other and look extra. No? Like when I pose, so you don't take me look good, so. I kind of like it when I look good, so. I'm just pose, so, you know? Me don't want bar, you know, I want guy I look, but I just swing it round to the side. <laughs> hey Regal, what's up, baby? Yeah. Yeah. But so come back and listen, mega arm. Um, mega wait name there. Oh wow. One guy what me know, his son was killed early last year during the summer. Them shot him son and kill him son. Then now this year the mother of the son, that son passed away. The mother of the son passed away. She probably broke died from a broken heart, you know? Them kill her son for no reason. Not like that. And then now she passed away. Oh my god. I'm sorry to hear this. This is bad. Was she um sick? Will be too much assets. Why am I for putting the big breast them? No? What about the big boobies? No big boobies either. I don't want to see how it look with the boobies. Probably I can do the boobies and the bottom at the same time. Hold on. Make do the make push something at the boobies to see how it look. Give me a second, guys. There you go, kiddo. Oh, it look there though. No? What do you think? Me have shot you somewhere. We are talking about me look like stuffed bird. What? No, 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 wouldn't get no money in the summer. If me come out like this, no, 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 wouldn't get no money in the summer. No, 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 get no money in the summer if me come out like this. No, 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 get no man if me come out like this. And that must say, I say, no, 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 get no man if me come out like this. Oh, and that must say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo! Anyways, people, enough for the arms out here. Enough for the arms out. Just to kind of loosen them. Loosen a moment for a little bit, you know. Just loosening it for a little bit. <laughs> this least <laughs> Wait a second, look like spice. I lie. But look like spice, huh? Eh, that's a spice look? Really? What do you mean I know this is? My God. Wait a second, would I look like spice? Sure. What are you about? Scan them. No, sir. Yeah, right, a paper. Uh, would I look good? Would I look good? Oh, would I have to pad up the pum pum? Or not too bad? <laughs> I'm not gonna make one bag of Indian man message me right now. <laughs> Just Sunday fun, guys. Sunday fun. Sunday fun. You know what I mean? Sunday fun. That's all it is. Sunday fun. Time to get back to the cooking. Time to get back to the cooking and the yamming and stuff, you know? I'm going to finish cooking my dinner, put the rice on, all of these other stuff. I enjoyed hanging out with you right now. I'll probably come back on later. I'll come back on later. <laughs> all right, I'm going to cook my food right now. I'm going to finish cooking my Sunday dinner. You understand? I just for me and Kenza. Yeah, because my son is a very health conscious person. So, this is just for me and Kenza. So, <laughs> Sunday fun, you know? Just to kind of loosen the mood a little bit. Yeah, man, pure fun. 
Yeah, man, a little joke is better than quarrel. It's true, me never, I grew up with my grandmother, but during the time when I grew up with my grandmother, I was very young. I was too young. And then, but it was mainly my mother and my dad. But I did grow up with my grandmother. Yeah. But briefly, I was around her for probably eight years, nine years before she passed away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just want to put a smile on your faces in every with everything that's going on in this world right now. You understand? When I hear say Putin, um, I threaten Sweden and 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 Sweden now, Sweden now, who else? You can't be getting a local local wire go through Germany no more. Them take them out of the international banking system. Them I do everything. Them I do everything. So because of that now, um, Russia now a launch back and say if Sweden and and Finland or any one of them come in and try join NATO, what am I going to do to them and what am I going to do to them? I don't know who this man I try. You know what it is? I think he's trying to bring back the ussr you remember back in the days when them have all of these smaller countries and they had a group of countries before the, the berlin wall came down and all of that other stuff i feel like he's trying to bring that back to make himself great you understand because him alone as a country i mean he does have other allies but i'm just saying like i think he's trying to bring back the ussr you understand what i say like with all of these smaller countries that are surrounding russia because remember now they all broke apart and and um got their own borders and stuff like that so i think he's trying to just bring everybody back and in doing so he's threatening these other countries telling them that if they become a part of nato what he's going to do to them what he's and what he's not going to do to them and then um here in the states they're removing liquor russian vodka they're removing any russian liquor from off the shelves they remove them from the international banking system. What that means is, you know, sometimes you're doing an actual wire transfer. Now, I'm not talking about Western Union. I'm talking about a wire transfer uh, via your bank. Like if, you if you've had to wire directly from your bank account, let's say to Canada, there's, an, there's usually an intermediary bank and they ask you for the SWIFT codes of those banks, those international banks or those intermediary banks. Um, what they have done is they have removed them from the SWIFT system. Now, every bank has a code. It's kind of like an international routing number. You know how the local banks have a routing number, an ABA number? The international banks have a SWIFT code. That pretty much identifies the name of the bank and the country they're located in. So what they have done is, because of what Russia has done recently with Ukraine and stuff like that, they have pretty much removed them from the system. So if you're trying to get any wire transfer, any international wire transfer over to anyone in Russia, you're screwed, honey. You are so screwed. You cannot get any international wires over into Russia, period. Okay, because they remove them from the SWIFT code system. So um, in addition to the sanctions that they've put on Russia, they're trying their very best to try to mess business up for Russia. You know what I mean? To not make it easier for Russia. You understand me? Um, he actually wants to come after the U.S. He's that's basically what he wants because remember now the United States is one of those countries where the mainland never really saw war. Um, we had Vietnam and we had all these other World War Twos and stuff like that. These little um, you know situations which occurred through time. However, the United States never really entered a main war directly with a country. So I think that's what he's doing. He's trying to trigger a war with the United States because, you know, the U.S. is a, a great nation. But what I will say is he has a lot of good allies on his side. He has China, which is a very strong ally for him. Um, and he has um, a lot of other countries that are really standing by his side. I'm talking about Russia. Russia, Putin has a lot of strong allies, China being one of them. Um, America... Um, has a lot of allies too. Um, we have more allies than they do, but how strong are our allies? Then that's that's to say, I don't know. We the British, the British, the British, um, the B, the the UK is a very the French. We have this French, we have the UK, we have some parts of Africa, we have um, Germany. Germany is a very strong country. Um, we have, I think, South Korea. We have um, what's the other one called? T. What am name? 
I can't remember. We have a lot of countries as allies. They do too, but not as many as us, as we do. But it's just that the numbers that he has are some very strong allies. So it's like, okay, whew. It's like, okay, <laughs> what are we going to do, you know? Yeah, him have the Chinese in our pocket and him also have North Korea in our pocket. Now, if you have China and North Korea in your pocket, the rest of them is like nobody. <laughs> you know you know what I mean? Not saying that the other countries aren't powerful, but it's like you have two of the greatest nations in your pocket, China and North Korea. So if you have those two major countries in your pocket, ha ha, let me tell you, okay? Now, the U.S. have some great countries too. We got Canada. We have the U.K., we have, um, name them off. We have Germany. We have um, South Korea. We have, we have all them other, let me tell you, let me, let me, let me break. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. This man's war, this man's fight, it's not just, I'm of Iran too. This man's fight is not just, okay, Ukraine. This man's fight is bigger than that. And it's coming all the way from back in the days before the Berlin War. You understand me? Before the um the Berlin Wall came down. At the time when the Berlin Wall came down, he was just like one of those um he was one of those high officers in, in the army, in the Russian army. So he really didn't have that much power to make a call on the Berlin Wall. But eventually the Berlin Wall came down. Something that he was very much against when he was in the army. At the time when the Berlin Wall came down, he was in the army. Just to give you an idea of how long this man has the mind of a friggin' warmonger. He was, he was in the army and he didn't want the Berlin Wall to come down. Um, he was in a very high position, but not high enough for him to make decisions on whether or not the Berlin Wall should come down or not. You understand me? So now that he has voted himself, now that he's in power, I should say, um... You know what I mean? He has the power to really bring back these countries that were broken apart and has their own borders. I know you guys see where um, Kenya, Kenya, one such country, the, 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 the government of Kenya did make a, a, a very important point. He said, why are you fighting now? Like in this present day and age, it's 2022. Why are you fighting? Back in the days before, you know, when the land was being divided, I can understand you fighting. But now when everybody have them land and everybody secure and everybody are protect them borders, why are you fighting now in 2022? It's just, it just seems stupid. And that's a very valid point. Let me tell you something. This man, Putin, might want to try to bring back communism. You know what I mean? Because them figures that the socialist life is what is what is. You know, something similar to Cuba. You remember Cuba back in the days? You know, Cuba, very communist, very this, very that. And um, and that's basically what he's trying to bring back. He's trying to bring back the other countries together where he can start this whole communism mentality where he has control, total control. NATO can't really come in and tell them nothing and blah, blah, blah. That's basically what he's trying to do. He's trying to bring all the countries back together, Finland, Sweden, and um, he's trying to bring them back. You understand me? He's trying to bring them back. Oh, Serena, he they won't, these bloggers won't have this information. <laughs> bloggers, these bloggers won't have this information, but they'll tell you how many cakes I sell. They'll tell you all of this crap about my cake. Um, but they don't have any other information. They'll tell you how much money may I take, even though it's not true. They'll tell you all sorts of shit. They'll tell you some means a cool cool and all them shit. These bloggers ain't gonna, they're not that informative, honey. They don't even understand what this whole Berlin Wall was about. I was a kid when the wall came down, by the way. I was how old was I? It was back in the 90s. Was it? it was a long time ago when the wall came down. Um, listen, man, you don't have to sit down and, and read up on, and because really and truly, I never really understood myself. I never understood what this whole war was about. Mind you, I do know what type of personality Putin has. Okay, it was no surprise to me that he wanted war because I know this man is a warmonger. And if you did any form of, you know, politics in high school or in college, you would kind of become familiar with how the Europeans, mainly Russia, how they work. You understand me? Them like the communist mentality, the communist lifestyle. So, which is why I was so upset when these students. Um, back in um, Ukraine didn't want to come home like why the frick did you think this man was playing you don't know what type of man he is don't do you not read history you don't know what this man is about what what do you mean you're not leaving what do you mean what do you mean you're not leaving 
What you mean you're not leaving? You understand me? I would have, listen, because I, I'm not even like here the name Putin. I'm not even like here Germany. I'm not even like here the name Russia. I kid you not. I would have been, I would have been out. Listen, you got it. Yeah, TikTok, TikTok is missing. Yeah, TikTok, them just a post information. So you have to know, you have to have common sense to really um, pick sense out of nonsense. You understand me? And of course, there's a lot of propaganda going on and stuff like that. You just have to use your intelligence and and make, you don't just ride with everything that you see on TikTok because people are saying what's not true. You understand me? But basically, Putin is trying to become this big dictator um, and gain regain control of these countries that surrounds him. Yes, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to regain control of the countries around him, honey. Yeah, that's what that's what he's about. That's what he's trying to do. What you doing over there? You kind of too quiet in there, girlfriend. What you doing? Hmm. I had to come check on her because she was just mad quiet. And I'm like, ooh, let me sit on my butt. Ooh. Um, I see the word case of hit one. The world respond. He's going to play. Let me tell you, Putin himself is not that strong. He is not that strong by himself, which is why he's threatening nukes, meaning nuclear war. The only thing him have are nukes. Really and truly, if him got two to two with a lot of these countries, he cannot win. Because him, not, him strong, yes, but he's not that strong. And those of you who are underestimating Ukraine, Ukraine soldiers are really strong fighters. You understand me? They are really strong fighters. You get what me I try to say? Putin has no rights to go in and start to invade Ukraine like he has a very high price to pay. Listen, him feel like him own Ukraine, you know, because remember, Ukraine is right there, right there. So he feels like he owns them. And remember, Ukraine was becoming this very powerful country on their own without Russia. You understand me? And I think they said something about nukes, like Ukraine had this nuke there and um, Russia wants it and all these other stuff. This is a whole bunch of shit going on, honey. Um, Really? Oh, that's why they have China on their side, huh? That's why they have China on their side. <laughs> you know what's this? Listen, it's a lot. It's a lot. If you follow it up, and then they're talking about the Africans who can't go into Poland because Poland won't let them in. Honey, Um, I am happy that the Jamaicans made their way over because, you know, Jamaica, Jamaica, we are part of the Caribbean. Africa is a totally different story. They don't want to let them in. It's the, Africa, it's the African government's responsibility to get these people into the country or find something, find something, find some other way to help these people, these Africans, these Ghanaians who are stuck in Ukraine. You understand me? Because you have the issue of racism that we're all battling with. And you know Poland is racist, right? Okay. A lot of European countries are very racist. They don't like black people. Yes. Well, we know that, Gail. But I think the, the, the student... You know what it is about our people? We just love freeness. I will love adults. You know, I'm Veronica, Veronica. Yes. Well, we know that, Gail. But I think the, the, the student... You know what it is about our people? We just love freeness. I will love adults. You know, I'm Veronica, Veronica. Um, you know, and we think we think that the government is pretty much, you know, we're entitled to anything, to any and everything via the government, and that's not true. Um, in comparison to America, America told their Americans to come home. They told them to come home. All right, meaning that they had to find their way to come home. It's not like they rolled out any red carpet and said, "Here, sit and granny of Komayayad." No, they told them to come home. Um, it's the same thing with Jamaicans. They were told to come home. However, in this case, they were offered a loan. They were offered a loan and they didn't come home. They were offered a loan and they didn't come home. They didn't want to take the loan. They didn't, want, they didn't think it was going to be that serious. And now they're stuck in a situation where them pretty much put Jamaica in a situation where they, with Jamaica for try to get them out of the country. Come on. They're, they're of this mindset that America helped Americans. No. You heard it yourself. 
um, President Biden said, we're not going in for no Americans. If President Biden goes in for Americans, that's World War III. In case y'all don't know, America has cannot set foot on you in, in, in Ukraine. They cannot. You notice where they are? They're in Poland. They're on the outskirts of Ukraine. They can't set foot in Ukraine. The minute they set foot in Ukraine and, and bear arms, it's total World War III. So there's no way they can go for Americans there. Any, any American where they have to just stay there and just find them or find them way out. That's just how it is. The president said, we can't go for them. What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do that. We can't go for them and take them out of Ukraine. It's too late now. They were ordered to leave. They were ordered to leave. You understand me? They were ordered to leave. So Biden can't really go and get them now. So this misperse, this miss, the, 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 the people are thinking that, okay, oh, America is going to get Americans. Hell of a good no. You heard there was going to be a war. Get the hell out. You know what I mean? That's how it works. Get the hell out. Hey, baby. Get the hell out. You understand? Get the hell out. But girl, listen, well, I'm going to go finish cooking. I'm going to go finish cooking. And then I'm going to hang out with Kenza for a minute. And then I'm going to come live and stuff. And we're going to sit and chit chat about this whole war thing. So get your scoopers in order. Go do what you got to do. Go hang out with your family. It's Sunday, guys. You got to hang out with your family. I'm here hanging out with my granddaughter. Like a responsible grandparent. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later, okay, darlings? Let me go finish cooking and getting myself in order. And then later on, we'll chill and relax at a time for a evening time. We'll sit down and chit-chat about stuff. You understand? Yeah, man. We sit down and chit-chat. Don't just go and watch the news and stuff like that. It's really sad what's going on. But it's 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 good to know. Like, if I can articulate it away where you can understand. For the people them who don't understand if I can break it down for you in a common sense terms, I will do that. I'm not calling you guys idiots. But, you know, they do have books in, in libraries and stuff like that. Like, they have, the, they have it like um, the titles are like English for Idiots or something like that. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're calling you idiots. It's just the, the actual style of the book, you know. <laughs> you know, because not everybody's going to know Ill, um, English. So they have these books where them teach people upon some common sense terms, like upon the simplest terms for us to understand things. You understand? So for those of you out there who have no understanding of what's going on, you know, but they have to break it down for you. Know? The whole way each one teach, we have to teach you one another things. And everybody know everything. Cause just like how me have to learn, you know, have to learn too. I just saw it go. So if me can forward some knowledge to you, know, me have to forward some knowledge to you. Know? You understand? No prejudice here, sir. No prejudice over here, sir. We're not a prejudice over here, sir. Poor old young world. We're not no prejudice. No prejudice. But okay, I'll come over here, sir. Come learn how to read or write. Suppose we're telling us, say, but the day with a man who couldn't read or write. I was with a guy who couldn't read and write. I was with a guy who could not read or write. Can you imagine? It tells you who I am as a person. I was with a guy who could not read or write. It's a guy. I could him couldn't read or write. Yeah, and every time me and him I go some him, if him I gone away, for, like out of him familiar area, we would have to go with him come here for read the signs them theme and stuff like that yeah me did that with that guy who couldn't read all right <laughs> yeah man mm -hmm. been there done that baby loves been there out of love out of love over yes sir i'm just them just used them just call me maddie because me a madam man them say me a madam man but i'm not crazy but i just act crazy you know like I'm just full of life and full of energy, people. I'm going to finish cooking my Sunday dinner, yeah? This time I'm going to buy Adore Bread. I'm going to buy Adore Bread for Kenza. I'm going to Kenza. I'm going to eat bread and butter and scramble eggs tomorrow with grandma. I'm going to buy Adore Bread for your cookies. You would have married me. <laughs> Big up, Mickey Smart. Big up yourself, darling. And thank you for loving me, baby. I need more love. I need love. I need love in my life. I kid you not. You know, some people are going like say them tough. No, I need love. I need love. Surround me with love. Surround me with love. More I love. I, I'm just, I'm just a love. Just surround me with love. I don't want you in a nigga, nigga. Surround me with love, hugs, kisses. Yo, yesterday I'm a girl. 
Connecticut. I got art for Connecticut yesterday to drop off a cake. I must say, it was for the mother, but the daughter is the one who ordered the cake. And she ordered the cake for her mom. It was her mom's 60th birthday, the cake that I did yesterday. So now may I deliver the cake of Hartford now and me tell her for come outside, but me think of the daughter come outside because she ordered the cake. She said, no, my mom the cake that I did yesterday. So now may I deliver the cake of Hartford now and me tell her for come outside, but me think of the daughter come outside because she ordered the cake. She said, no, my mom is coming to get it. Don't let her see it. So I said, okay, oh, me not going to make her mother see the cake. The cake in the back. I understand. But either way, me get to the mother come out. You see when the mother come out? Jesus Christ, the mother give me one big hug when I stop yourself. I forgot to share the story with you. The woman hug me, hug me, hug me for a good 30 seconds. She hug me, give me one nice tight. Oh my God, I needed that hug. I needed that hug, baby love. If you don't know how much me did need that hug there. Lord of mercy. Because you know people get them cake, them gone about them business. And because of COVID and stuff like that, you know, you don't really want to have too much human can't contact with people that you don't really know like that. You know what I mean? But when that woman gave me that hug, I felt that. Man, the woman hold me and just go, whoa. I felt that hug. You know what I mean? Like, why can't people be just of love? You know? But not, not, in, not in this world. People, you know. Not in this world. You know, you have some dog shit. People just don't grow up with love, you know? Let me tell you. Growing up with my father, I always hear my father speak positively. <laughs> I always hear my dad speak positively about his mom. This, which is my grandmother right she spoke positively about he spoke positively about her and let me tell you something about my father there's nothing negative i can say about my dad nothing my dad is such a pleasant pleasant person you saw him love smile that's my dad just smiling let me tell you something my dad was like the handyman for the family you know what I mean? Here in Boston. He was, he, he, I said was because I said was, he's still alive, but he was, when he was much healthier, you know, he was the handyman for everybody. He was the person that ran everyone's errands. He was the per, oh, Leonard, can you bring, go to the supermarket? Okay. And he would bring it. Leonard, this one, fix it. Can I come fix it? And he would go, cause he has a lot of sisters, you know, cause my family's filled with, filled with girls, filled with women. So he was the only like, family man like the the brother who was there with them so he was all over the place just helping everybody and i tell you my dad is so loving my dad is so loving he's such a loving person he's always speaking positively about his mom and you see whenever i would step out of line about certain things based on my own opinions he would say no marian no no that's not what you do this is what you do. And da, 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 da. he would correct me. That's my dad. He, he's, he's a disciplinarian. And he would correct me. Every, everything, if I said something that was kind of wrong and out of place, he's like, no, 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 Mary. What you need to do is to go. <laughs> that's my dad. He would tell me to go talk to this person. That's not what you say. That's not what you do. He's that type of person. And he would always say, when I was growing up, my mom, which is his mom, which is my grandmother, he said, when I'm growing up, my mom taught, tell us to all live in love. We got to all live in love. You know, you know, them old people that have them taught. They, oh, we got to all live loving. We got to all live loving and help one another. And so, so based on what his mom told him, he passed it off to me. You understand me? So I don't know nothing different. I don't know nothing different. So when a lot of these people online are coming with their butter behaviors, I'm like, what the frig is this? What, what is this? I don't understand that language. I really don't understand that language because I didn't grow up like that. You understand me? I grew up in love. So when when these negative negative crap, I'm like, what the, the what the what? And I might seem naive, but it's not naive. It's more of you're not used to that type of toxicity. You know what I mean? You're not used to that type of toxicity because the way how my father was brought up. Remember, he was in the army. Too. So the way how he he was brought up, he passed it down to me. So I don't know no different. I don't know. Even though I would be, I would say shit like, "Oh, what mega this?" I don't do shit. I don't do shit. I don't do shit. But that's when I cut, when I cool off, I forget about people and about my business. When I when I when I cool off, I just forget about people and about my business. You know. 
you know, I don't carry grudge in my heart. It, it's not until something happens that I'll remember the shit that you did to me in the past and it all comes back. But I don't walk around with grudges and all of that bullshit. I ain't jealous of nobody. I just want to be left alone in my old crazy world, you know. I'm in my crazy world doing my crazy bullshit. Let me do my crazy shit. Leave me the frig alone with your toxic ass. We, I, I don't know about that life. You understand? I don't know about that life. You understand? I don't know about that life. I went to church pretty much seven days a week. I, don't, I just know how to love. That's all I know. I don't know nothing but love. I grew up in love. I was born in love. Yes, my mother, I'm a father, did that? I'm a mother. Let me tell you, I'm a father still. My mom, my dad got my mom pregnant when she was in her teens, like 17. And he sent her back to school. How many men, you know, send a woman back to school? How many men, how many men do that? That's to show you what type of person my dad is. He sent her back to school to learn how to read and do something with herself. I kid you not. And she tells me the same story too. And she went to do office work and she learned how to do shorthand. She learned how to do office administrative stuff. You know, back in the days, whatever the hell they did. She said that's how she went. She went back to school because she was so young. He sent her back to school. How much man do know how to do that? Just to show you, my dad is awesome. My dad is so awesome. You guys got to meet him. If you've never met my dad, you're going to meet my dad. I want him feel better one of these days. I went up there the other day. And, um, you know, he's getting old and stuff. He's healthy. He's very healthy and stuff like that. Um, I went up there. I don't want to talk about too much of his health issues. But, you know, um, you know, I had to do consultations with him. You know, four-hour consultations. Because they're very detailed up there. You know, they're not like, oh, go home. No. They're very detailed and stuff. So, you know, but again, we're going to go with my dad. We're going to go with my dad. We're going to talk about my dad and let my dad speak of, speak of his army years in Jamaica when he was in the army and the things that he used to do to these gunmen them back in the days when him did much young. <laughs> when him tell you the joke them, you laugh so till. Yeah, man, when my father tell you the joke them about him army days, you laugh so till. What? <laughs> with the gunman them I way him used to do with the gunman them listen I just want to be left alone I'm a girl full of love I don't care about nobody I don't care about nobody leave it listen the way you see me now is how I was I've always been like this crazy I'm crazy for feeling so lonely ah, 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 ah. I don't know about no hate, honey. Y'all keep that hate over there. I don't know about nothing else. But fun and living a life. Really? I don't think, no. Not a lot of men. A lot of men don't send their women back to school. Get the hell out of here. Stop that shit, icon. A lot of these men, no way. Uh-uh. No. No. And my mom tell me about it too. She said he sent her back to school. I was like, ooh, my dad is a good man then. You know what I mean? A lot of these men don't do that. <laughs> Yo, listen man, every minute my phone goes off with news for, about Ukraine. Every minute my phone goes off with news about Ukraine, yo. I'm like, shit. Like, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Anyways, guys, let me go hang out with my granddaughter. Like I said, I'll come back later. I'll come back later, darling. I'll be back later. All right? Have a good evening.